Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. This video is a quick demo to show you how you can use Smartsheet to trigger alerts into Teams and Slack. So one of the key functions within Smartsheet is the ability to collaborate and help alert people when things happen. Now, a lot of times you can send emails directly to people as alerts, but one of the great things it can do is also send alerts to Slack and to Microsoft Teams. That way then it goes out to a whole group without necessarily clogging up people's email boxes. And again, something which we all like to prevent happening. So in this case, I've got my property portfolio where we're in the process of refurbishing various properties. And here I've got three properties which are pending move outs. Now, what I know is that they have just moved out of 14 Madrid mansions. So I'm actually going to confirm that that person's moved out and request that the inventory check takes place tomorrow. So I'm going to add in T plus one, which gives tomorrow's date. And you can see now it's saved as vacated and 20 Madrid mansions as well has also moved out. So I'm going to add that one in as well, T plus one. And those are now showing as vacated. So in terms of my list here, they're now vacated. What I've got is I've got an automation set up here. So I go to manage workflows. The workflow I've got set up here is new property vacated, team and Slack alerts. So let's have a look at this one. And I'm gonna go in and I'm going to edit it to show you how it's set up. So in this case, I've set it up to say when the work status changes to vacated, then run the workflow and it happens when triggered because it's going to the Teams one. Now, on the triggered, you can change that to different frequencies. Now, what I've asked it to do is to alert someone and I've said, right, send it to Microsoft Teams to my Productive Limited and my channel within that is Smartsheet. So I've previously gone in already and confirmed that I want it to communicate with Teams. And below, I've customized the message and I've put new property vacated and by using the two squiggly brackets, I've put in the field name, which is property, which means then it will show the address of the property in that field after the, um, after the new property vacated piece. So something else I've also done here is I've gone in and looked at advanced options and I've said only display these fields. So it doesn't show everything on the sheet that it comes through. So it doesn't clog everything up. So you've got options there. Now in this version, just for the purpose of the demo, I've also said send it to Teams and also send it to Slack. Now, clearly you, you probably don't want to send it to both, so choose which one, but this is just to show you how you can. Now, clearly if I want to add another one in and just I'm going to show you how easy it would be to add in to Slack, for example. So I want to add it into Slack. I will just go in to Productive, select a channel, and I choose the one here um, in that case. So it's that simple to set up um, in terms of the um, the customizing message, you just add it in there. Now, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete it out because it's not required. And so because I haven't made any changes to this one, I'm going to press cancel, but otherwise you would be saving. And here we go. So this one is the, the marks has vacated. And what will have happened as a result of these having been vacated is if I now go across to my Slack and Teams, let's see if those alerts have come in. So we can now see that in my Teams place that, yep, we can just see that that has literally just come through in terms of um, momentarily ago. And it's got the bit of information here. And if I go across to Slack as well, then here you can see these have just moved out as well. So this is a great way to have focused information going to just where you want it and avoiding email overload if that's what you're looking to avoid on that way. In this way, all the team gets to see and then they can kind of engage as you would within Slack or within Teams as needed. So trust that's been useful for you in terms of just a quick overview of how it works for Slack and Teams, for alerts and anything that makes you more productive.